Today we discuss eigen functions and eigen values with respect to the self-adjoint differential equations that we saw in the last class. We uh, discussed uh, the self-adjoint property of the differential equations and with respect to that we define the eigenfunctions and the eigenvalues. We have uh, seen the Schrodinger equation. We know the Schrodinger wave equation that is given by h psi of x equal to e psi of x. This is the major example of an eigenvalue equation in physics. Okay. Uh, here uh, we know the psi of x is the eigenfunction. Okay, psi of x is the eigenfunction and uh, the e is the eigenvalue and h is the uh, differential operator. We know h is uh, this the Hamiltonian that is the differential operator which is in one dimension. Here we have written it in one dimension, three dimension. Uh, you will have the y and z component as well. So this is a basically Hamiltonian is a differential operator, okay. And uh, 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 the Hamiltonian uh, is there and the eigenvalue is uh, <coughs> E, the total energy of the system and psi of x, that is the uh, eigenfunction, okay. That is the eigenfunction. But in some cases uh, sometimes eigenvalue equation takes the most general self-adjoint form, okay, different from it. Uh, the most general uh, form uh, is the uh, L uh, u of x, okay, plus lambda w of x u of x equal to 0, L. L is the differential operator, <coughs> u of x is the eigenfunction here, lambda is the eigenvalue and w of x, <coughs> it is called the weight or the density function, weight or the density function. So uh, the eigenvalue equation <coughs> takes this most or more general form. Okay. L is a differential operator self adjoint uh, differential <coughs> operator. Okay, uh, and here the u x or u lambda x lambda is the eigenvalue, lambda is eigenvalue, u lambda x is eigenfunction corresponding to that eigenvalue. And it is called the eigenfunction if it satisfies the boost boundary conditions. Okay. Uh, which satisfies the equation one. Your u lambda x is called an eigenfunction if it satisfies <coughs> equation one. This one. And uh, the boost boundary conditions that we will see in the next uh, class, the imposed boundary conditions, what are the imposed boundary conditions. <coughs> then it is called an eigenfunction corresponding to uh, the uh, eigenvalue lambda. Okay, so u of lambda x, it is called an eigenfunction corresponding to the uh, lambda. Okay. The coefficient p of x, L, uh, you know, uh, that is a differential operator. So, <coughs> p of x, that is the uh, coefficient of the second derivative of the eigenfunction. Okay. So, uh, in the differential operator, d square u by dx square will be there its coefficient, its coefficient is the uh, p of x, 
okay then uh, lambda is the uh, parameter that is available in a term of the form lambda w of x by u of x so uh, we have uh, if we have a parameter lambda available in the uh, differential equation uh, like this then lambda is eigen value and in w of x that is the uh, weight function or the density function so we will see an example uh, and see how we identify the eigen value and the density function okay any x dependence apart from the eigen function that becomes the uh, weight function okay any x dependence apart from the eigen function becomes the uh, weight function so we can identify the uh, eigen value the uh, weight function now if there is another term containing the eigen function <coughs> if there is another term containing the eigen function not the derivatives the coefficient of this eigen function that is uh, identified as q of x okay so that is identified as the uh, q of x okay if no such term is present if no such additional term is present then q of x is simply zero okay so q of x is simply zero uh, so that's how we uh, identify the eigen value the weight function uh, and q of x p of x etc okay uh, so let's look at uh, two examples one is the legendary equation <coughs> legendary equation we know it is this 1 minus x square y double prime minus 2 x y prime plus l into l plus 1 y equal to 0 this, this equation is uh, in self adjoint form okay so we can write it in this form d by dx of this okay so here uh, we have to identify the so p of x is clearly 1 minus x square this is p of x okay clearly 1 minus x square p of x then we have to identify the eigen value the weight function okay so if we uh, compare this with uh, this equation if we compare this with this equation clearly uh, uh, we, we have this uh, lambda lambda is l into l plus 1 this is our lambda and we function that is equal to 1 because there is no x dependence here yeah? and y is our uh, eigen function y is our eigen function eigen value is l into l plus 1 okay so uh, clearly uh, we can write p of x is 1 minus x square okay p of x is 1 minus x square the eigen value is l into l plus 1 the weight function is uh, w of x uh, that is given by this and q of x there is no additional term so q of x is 0 okay so we can identify the various uh, parameters associated with the differential equation now take the Bessel function Bessel equation here uh, we make a slight change in the differential equation and then we identify the eigen uh, value uh, it is this we put x equal to x in this equation we put x equal to x okay and uh, uh, we have this uh, change x here uh, s square d square uh, s square d square y by dx square s square okay actually uh, what we do is we put x in the position of x 
So an A comes outside here, A square come outside here and here it becomes AX like this. And then uh, we multiply with A, okay, we are multiplying with the A here, okay. So uh, we have this uh, equation x d square y by dx square plus okay uh, dy by dx plus x square x minus n square x y equal to zero. And uh, uh, if I, if I write this uh, in self-adjoint form like this, d by dx of x uh, dy by dx plus a square x minus n square x y equal to 0. So here uh, we are identifying our original equation is this L KL u of x plus lambda w of x u of x. So p of x is x, p of x, this is p of x. And um, we have lambda w of x u of x. Um, here we are taking a square as the uh, lambda. Okay, the eigenvalue is taken as uh, a square. And x is taken as the uh, weight function x is the weight function uh, there uh, and this minus n square by x that is taken as q of x because an additional term is present here. So that is taken as q of x. Okay. So uh, this is how we identify the various uh, parameters. We are taking p of, p of x is x okay. and the eigenvalue is taken as a square weight function is w of x and q of x is minus n square by x. So this is how we identify the various parameters of the Bessel uh, equation. And we can do this uh, for the Lager, Hermite and symbol harmonic oscillator. Okay, uh, we will be getting this for the uh, Legender and for the Bessel we have done for the Hermite, for the symbol harmonic oscillator, uh, we are getting this C for Hermite. C, uh, we have to uh, use the self-adjoint form of the Hermite equation or the Lager equation, the Lager equation or the symbol harmonic oscillator. Symbol harmonic oscillator is already in the self-adjoint form, okay. So, uh, these are the equations, uh, we have the equations with us and identify the uh, p of x, the eigenvalue, the weight functions of these uh, uh, equations.